All right, welcome back to part three of Hogwarts Legacy. Just will take a minute to say thank you all for the likes and support on the first two videos so far. If you want more of this game, just keep it up. And shout out to Warner Brothers Games for sponsoring this third video. If you want to play this game yourself, it's available on PlayStation 5, which is actually what I'm playing it on, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. I have a link at the very top of the description. Just click that. It should take you where you need to go. And this game is developed by Avalanche Software and published by Warner Brothers Games under the Port Key Games label. And if you missed parts one and two, I'll give you a rundown of Hogwarts Legacy really quick. Hogwarts Legacy is an immersive open world action role playing game set in the 1800s. You play as a student at the legendary Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry like never before. You're going to be embarking on a journey, kind of going into the unwritten. You know, it's back in the 1800s, so not a lot of stuff has happened just yet. And in part one, we actually got to the school. Uh, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and we also, you're kind of learning stuff, you're meeting everyone, you get to choose your own house, create your character, and during the game, you actually experience an original story that puts players in the center of their own wizarding world adventure in the 1800s. So, alright, love you all, best audience ever. If you're enjoying this series, just keep all like support. Let's go ahead and jump back into part three of Hogwarts Legacy. Let's go. Yeah, this game is hype. I really like it a lot. Alright, we got something here. Hold on. Ah, there you are. Oh, there we go. We're already you there. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Let's see, what is the purpose of the task? I'll just go ahead and ask it because it's my first time, you know? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. All right, I'll complete the task. Here we go. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Man, I'm so hyped to see more of this game. Every time I play it, I just got the biggest smile on my face. All right. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Hmm. Alright, collect the flying page near the broken statue. So I'll just use this, right? Got That's it. all I gotta do. Very nice. You get a lot of XP for that, too. Alright, the flying page and the defense tower. Okay, the defense against the dark arts tower. Here we go. Flying page must be around here. So. Give me. Brilliant. We're gonna level up, maybe. Oh, it's it's close, isn't it? Let's see. I like how he's holding his book. Like you're not getting this one. <laughs> I like it. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. This is gonna be fun. All right, here we go. Go, go, go! Man, this is so cool. I don't want other games don't do this. Oh, go, go. Very nice. All right, mending charm. Mend broken objects. Okay. That's how we like construct bridges. Okay. I was wondering. Man, that looks so sick. Look at that. It's like a tornado. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. All right, quest complete. Professor Ronan's assignment. 
We're gonna level up here. Let's get it. Plus 20 HP as well. Let's go. Alright, so I guess the next thing to do... Not anything tracking. Let me go ahead and put something on the map really quick. Alright, quests. Alright, we got this one, which I may try... You know what? Let's do this really quick. It's gotta be close by. Alright, here it goes. Do some side stuff, get some early XP, kind of get things started. Also, kind of like see what the side quests are like. Then we'll get back to the main story. Spin this really quick. If I see anything broken, I can just use this. Interesting. That's pretty awesome. So now we got four abilities, so we're pretty stacked out. Um, I'm sure we'll get more down the road, maybe. I don't know. We will find out. Oh, we haven't been over here yet. Yo, look at this. Man, this is nice. Can't wait to explore. I still can't get over how good the prologue was for this game. It sets up everything so nicely. Level one lock, okay. Whee! What in the world? Oh. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's Peeves. lavatory, not for the meek. <laughs> he tried to stop me, did rancorous cop. I am just, hold on. Oh, hold on, what is this? This looks like... Okay, it's not marked, so I think we're fine. Alright, so we're going over here. This is the only side quest on the map, so let's see what we get. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. All right, here it goes. Gonna help you. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones, a dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. All right, see, take him down a peg. That's nice to hear. I'll go that one. I'm flattered see, to hear it's more that. nice. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? All right, I'll join your club. I'm sure. Okay, I'm not sure I'm interested. I'll do it. Why not? Of course, dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? I'm ready. Let's get it. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. All right, initiate round. Here we go. All right, break through yellow shields, counter spells. Got you. Let me switch in between two different targets. Seems pretty, pretty easy. Uh oh, hold on. Uh oh, is that good? Can break out, nice. Gotta get used to everything. Come on. The countering is so nice. All right, one down. There we go. It's cool that the counter also breaks it as well. The juggle. <laughs> Some big hits that round. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. All right, quest complete. Cross wands. Round one. 
Interesting. Let's go ahead and put... That gave us 180 XP. That's a lot. Alright, next thing left on here is... Alright, here we go. And the combat, I was trying to get used to everything. As we play the game more, we will get more used to everything. I'm just excited to kind of... How they've set up the beginning of the game where you learn all of your different, like, spells and everything. I just think that's really well done. You don't just have them, you know? You actually gotta learn them and then use them and then succeed with them. And then you're good. Oh, I just realized I can fast travel. I mean, should I? <laughs> We're right there. I mean, it is what it is. I'm just gonna walk over there. Or sprint. I keep forgetting we have fast travel points. I guess it's because the game is so new, I don't like fast traveling early on. I am going to sprint, though. It's my top speed. I want to see if I can use... I want to, like, put something else back together that's broken. But I haven't ran into anything yet. <gasps> Wait a minute. Come here. There we go. So those are just flying around. Okay. Hey, there's another one right here. What's the reach on this? That's a long way. We we'll have to level up again. Oh, what am I missing? Yeah, I'm impressed by just like the XP system, everything. The skills are also really well done. They could have picked anything. They picked like some of the coolest things. The fact they use the wand for all of it is also kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, it's it's accurate, so. All right, here goes. Next main quest. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Now we're about to leave the area. Speaking I am hyped. Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. It's like, it makes me think about the movies so much. I used to go, like, every year or so, I'd Speaking go see him with my mom in the theaters. Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad oh, it's watery. <laughs> Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. I love that the plants are getting watered, but it's just like floating around. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Potion ingredients. All right, I'm going to collect all these. Man, the scale of this game looks incredible. I cannot wait to explore the most of it. Like, Merlin's big. We'll see. In the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Think Poppy's Man, look at those graphics. Absolutely. Likely already named them too. 
Prance hoof and sugarfoot. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Man, look at like the castle area. It looks so sick. Like the graphics overall, and like the fact that I'm playing on PS5 on performance as well. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. It's really just natural, I guess. I've always Based off your own skills and all that. A bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. Because you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Got a moonstone. We got five of them. Interesting. A lot of different materials. So I'm going to kind of get used to everything. Hold on. What we got here? Everyone knows you can't conjure food. Gryffindor student. All right. The game is very relaxing in this area too. Very nice. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh... You might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi okay, guys. Chilling over there. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice. And he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. All right, we made it. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. This area is really nice. All right, Hogshead. All right. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. All right. See, village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest you can navigate using your field guides map. Let's go ahead and check out the map. But let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh, that's a lot of symbols. Hold on. We got a... Uh, okay. Hairdressing salon. Okay. Clothing shop. A beast supply shop stocked up with the latest and greatest in beast byproducts. Okay. These are just... Uh, it's just a square. Oh, wait. No, it's what it says. These are like... I guess certain points of interest there. Like monuments and all that. Branch of the Reowned, uh... Renowned, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see. Sporting Needs. Sporting Goods Shop that sells a variety of brooms. Okay. Tomes and Scrolls. Let's get it. Alright. Track any of these. Alright, we're going here. Wait, can I go in here? Level, oh, level, I thought I said level 11. Level 2 lock, here we go. So do we just like, we just like leave and just go over here? 
So we can visit... Our objective is to visit all of these. We'll go to the potion one first. I like that it has the same symbols there. Pretty nice. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now... Let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? All right, here goes supplies. I got 115. It looks like this is... Oh, they're both free. Okay. Free on the house. So the stuff we collected to earlier, we're going to make potions with that. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Very nice. Almost a thousand percent sure this place is going to have a fast travel point. To come here whenever you want, you know? All right, let's see. The next one is... Actually, I gotta mark it so I can actually see it on the map. Hold on. Let me just run around. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh... There we go. <laughs> really? So there's two of those here. I should try to find the other one. I mean, if I can. We'll see. I wonder if they'll have a want to take a quick minute to say thank you again to Water Brothers Games for sponsoring this video. It means a lot to me. It really does. I just went right past it. How convenient. Man, look at all the books outside, too. The ultimate bookstore. Here we go. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? I right, see. Spellcrafts. Potting table, small pot spellcraft. Everything's gonna be free initially, I'm guessing. Small potions, here we go. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I will once I have enough to afford them. <laughs> All right, next one's gonna be uh, actually right next to us. Here we go. Man, like the level of detail. Look at this. They didn't have to do this, but it's amazing. Look at that. Oh, right, we got two more. Here we go. Merlin. 
blooming beard. Not again. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um. Ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, ah, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Man, that's so cool. So you can upgrade, you can get different ones. I'm excited. Here we go. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. All right, we got one last stop. Here we go. I could wait. Am I able to search that chest right there? <laughs> Just take whatever I want. Oh, that says search. Feel bad taking that, right? I mean, all right. Here he goes. Visit us again on the door. That's that's a nice touch. A sign that's always stuck with me, and I kind of relate to it on YouTube is. When I left a car wash one time, it said, thank you for, I guess, visiting the car wash. We know you have a choice. And I was like, eh, that kind of rings true with a lot of stuff. I know you have a choice to watch other people, but you choose to watch me. That means a lot to me. So I kind of live by that. Uh oh, there's the other one. Unless this is technically out of the area, so it might not be one of two. Give me. Oh, it's two of two. Let's go. We got him. Collect food, got pages. We got both of the. Okay, we got the challenge complete now. Nice. Wow. 
Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts as a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. All right, let's see. I lost the ability to grow. Oh, okay. Let's go and get it. It's also Do free, so I'll take it. Plenty of Seed packets. To pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. I can actually afford some of this, but I'm not going to buy it yet. I'm going to save all of my money. All right. Meet Sebastian at the town circle. Head on back. And we got both books, too. Uh-oh. Hold on. There we go. <gasps> hey, buddy. I like how they're just roaming around. <laughs> yeah, the game is very lively. I like it a lot. I've had a lot of fun the first two hours of this game already. And we've only scratched the surface. Get some XP here. I'm also pretty... I mean, I'm going to probably do most of the side quests I can find, too. Just because they seem to give you a lot of XP. At least early on, they do. All right, here we go. Look at that over there. Honey Dukes. Hold on, what is it? It's like cotton candy or something? Hold on. He's dancing around. <laughs> I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Dodge. Nice little quick time event. Let's get it. QTE time. We're actually going to fight. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, watch out. Are we weakening him at all? Let's keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. Running into the buildings, too. Wait, can I reconstruct? Uh, what was that? There it is. A taste of his own medicine. Nicely done. Use the environment. That is so cool. Man, the combat is really nice. Break that right there. That does the most damage. I'm just trying to stay alive. Hold on. That's right, you lumbering louts. Pretty cool way to end the quest line. Oh Do my goodness. Do the job. Uh, Alright, almost done. So we have a little bit of a window. Right when the attack hits. Interesting. Uh oh, invoke ancient magic. Oh boy.
goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. All right, now we're gonna reconstruct, I'm assuming. Repair. Put everything back the way it was. I was wondering whenever it like, whenever it like came through the wall, I was like, this has to be repaired at some point. And I was like, oh yeah, we can actually do that. The entire building, look at this. Repair the damages. Uh, what? Yeah, this right. Okay, so I first saw this when we was in actually in the middle of a fight, repair. and I thought I was like, "Can I repair it and throw it at him?" Lucky they didn't do more damage. Uh, we got stuff over here. I don't know. Are these boxes? Are they repair? Okay, they need to be stacked up. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. Man, this game is so good. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Awesome. All right, speak to the shopkeeper. Here we go. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. I'm gonna go with this one. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I am not a fan of being given stuff. It, it's, it's just a weird thing of mine. I like to help others but not be helped, you know? All right, um... Yeah, I mean, I guess I gotta get this. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad. New piece of gear. Time to equip it. Gear screen. Now I looked at this early on. Okay, current defense and offense are displayed at the top right. Okay. Uh, cloaks and robes. We're gonna upgrade it. Let's see. It's gonna change it to five on the offense. The RPG system's kicking in. I, I can feel it. All right, I think we're good. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fact. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Man, everything about this game has just been so well thought out. They're doing, like, the Hogwarts thing justice, you know? Let me go ahead and loot here really quick, you know? 55. Well, hello there. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from I just say I don't like to be giving stuff only to be like taking coins and stuff afterwards. All right, Assuming three broomsticks. Bedlam in there. You might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. That was an awesome quest. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. 
I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> uh, uh, how timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Yeah, he's probably right. Alright. I gotta admit, the quality of the quest line so far has been outstanding. Alright, it's nighttime. Oh, everything's lit up. Let's go. I wonder if we're gonna just walk back or we're gonna find some other means of transportation. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Hollow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. All right, must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Here we go. Fast shovel time. Hogwarts map button. Okay. Interesting. Fast shovel time. Oh, it's saying go here. South wing. Hold on. Common room. Um, let me look at all the different names of everything. Common room, here we go.
All right, that was an amazing quest. I like that one a lot. Everything from the combat to the exploration, putting everything on the map, really well done. And that's it for part three. Gotta say thank you all for the love and support on this series so far. If you would like a part four, just keep it up. All the likes greatly appreciated. Again, Warner Brothers Games, thank you so much for sponsoring the first three parts of this. It means a lot to me. If you want to play this game yourself, it's available on PlayStation 5, which is what I've been playing it on this entire time. Xbox Series S and X and PC. I have a link to every top of the description. Just click that. I love you all and take care.